In this video, we will cover how to connect to a Eurotherm EPC3000 series controller using the Eurotherm iTool software and the Eurotherm CPI cable. We'll be covering how to connect to a controller that is inside its case, as well as how to remove the controller from the control panel and connect to it without its case. To start, you will need to have Eurotherm iTool software installed. If you do not have this software, there is a link provided in the description, and it is a free download from Eurotherm. Secondly, you will need to have the Eurotherm CPI cable. LNL provides this cable with any machine that utilizes a Eurotherm controller. On the desk here, we have an EPC3004 controller and a CPI cable ready to connect. It doesn't matter if you're using an EPC3004 or a 3016, the connection method is the same for both devices. The first step is to remove the bottom retainer clip from the controller case. This simply snaps out of position. On the bottom left side of the case, there are five points for the CPI cable to connect to, two on the left and three on the right. Simply line up the cable with these points, snap it into place. Next, we have an EPC3016 controller that is already mounted to a control cabinet. To remove the controller from its case, lightly snap out the two retainer clips and pull the controller forward out of the case. Again, looking at the bottom left side of the controller, we see the five CPI connection points. Simply line up the cable with the connection points and snap it into place. With the controller connected to the CPI cable, now we move over to the iTool software. From here, it is a simple task of selecting the scan function. Make sure the scan method is set to CPI clip and click OK. After a few seconds, the software should connect to the controller. It will take an additional moment once the controller connects to fully synchronize between the controller and the software. Once the synchronization is complete, you'll have configuration level access to the controller. To disconnect from the controller, just click the remove button. And that covers how to connect to an EPC3000 series controller using the CPI cable. For more information or assistance, please reach out to our service team at service at llfurnace.com. 